Hey guys, what's up? It's Bruce. I'm back from my Mallorca trip. First day we got there, it was like not the weather we were expecting at all. We thought that it was going to be like warm and sunny and you know, this island, if you don't know, Mallorca is famous for its uh, good temperatures and cycling and like almost like a tropical environment. It's an island, by the way, it's an island in the Mediterranean off the coast of Spain. It's a Spanish island. Uh, the first day we were supposed to ride, which was Monday, we had to cancel the ride because of the weather. But then on Tuesday, we all got together in like a parking lot of a grocery store. I think it was about 8.45 in the morning, 9 o'clock, something like that. And uh, we got together, we met each other. This was the first time I ever met any of these people. So um, after like a little bit of chit chat, we went ahead and hit the road. The route we were doing, let's see if I can remember the name. It was called um, Cap 4 Mendor, I think. And so uh, it wasn't a long ride. I think like maybe 45 kilometers both ways, like out to the, the cap and then back. So uh, we anyway, we got going probably a little bit after nine o'clock. <laughs> Uh, everything was going good like everyone was riding together real nice very relaxed pace but then exactly 46 minutes and by the way I know this because I can see it on my uh, Strava recording exactly 46 minutes into the ride one of the guys in our group crashed pretty hard uh, I didn't see it because I was a little bit ahead of him but uh, you know when I got turned around and you know we could kind of like see what was happening it was pretty bad like he had a real bloodied up face and uh, he was not going to be able to ride anymore that day we ended up trying to call an, call an ambulance, but uh, we didn't have cell reception out there. So we had to wait for, well, we were waiting and like a van came by. He went down to the village where we came from and called the ambulance for us. And uh, eventually an ambulance came. It took a long time. By the time he, between time he crashed and the ambulance came, I don't know how much time had passed, but it was, it was quite a while. But uh, definitely made me and probably the rest of us a little bit more cautious, you know, riding after that. But we kept going after he was, he was uh, taken care of. So uh, then we kept on going, and uh, a little while later, we ended up at the end of the, uh, the cap, I guess you can call it. Uh, the sights there were super gorgeous, and everything was really nice. Uh, we kind of hung out there for a little while, used the restroom, and just chit-chatted, took some photos, and then headed back. The way back, we didn't have any incidents, no accidents. Um, everything was fine. Not that hard, like physically, that was, a, I would say, pretty easy ride. The only thing bad about the route, I guess you could say, is especially on the way back, there were a lot of cars. It was just like constant cars. We were, you know, having to slow down or speed up and just working our way around the cars and stuff. And uh, that was kind of annoying. But other than that, it was a beautiful route. And uh, that was pretty much it. We rode back to where we started and everybody split ways and went back and did their thing. So uh, the next day we did another day riding. This was going to be a surprise route, but that it would be more flat than today, longer and flatter but then we would have an option to do some climbing if we felt up to it. So the next day came, it was Wednesday, we all met up at the same time in the same place. This time we uh, rode basically south along the mountains and then started up, up a uh, mountain pass. Oh, before that actually we stopped at a uh, cycling specific like cafe and they sold like some uh, sweets and whatnot. Uh, that was really nice just to chill out there for a few minutes before we actually started the climb of uh, St. Sebastica or something like that. I don't remember how long it was. I want to say maybe 30 minutes. Not s hard really. It wasn't that steep. Uh, I, I got going. Like at the beginning I was kind of taking it easy and just relaxing but then uh, we got kind of strung out a little bit and so I decided to just go ahead and go a little bit harder and harder and harder. Probably like halfway through I was going like almost 100% but anyway uh, it was a nice ride. Uh, very beautiful. I'd say even probably a little bit more beautiful than the first ride. Uh, I really enjoyed this one a lot, and uh, there weren't that many cars, which made it really nice. There was a ton of cyclists, but not that many cars. We met up at the top of the pass, uh, like a gas station and a little restaurant, chatted for a little bit, and then headed down. 
One thing I have to note is in general in Mallorca, the roads are super smooth. Really, really nice. A pleasure to ride. Even, even I would say probably nicer than the ones here in Switzerland. So um, after that, we ended up back uh, about the same place as we started and went our separate ways. And that was pretty much it for the organized group rides. Do you remember my knee issue I kept whining about in my other videos? Uh, that was still an issue when I went to Mallorca, not surprisingly, didn't go away. But I did do some searching on YouTube and found a guy, and I'll put a link to that video in the description, where he shows you how to treat this uh, specific knee issue with uh, the tape, like the medical tape that's stretchy, I don't know what it's called. So I, I watched his video and I did you know, pretty much exactly what he did. And to my amazement, that actually worked. Like so, my that, I used it on my first ride and the second group ride, and I felt almost no pain. When I took it off, the pain comes back. So, so that was totally amazing for me. I was shocked that it worked so well, and extremely happy that it worked so well. But after two rides, uh, my skin was getting kind of irritated from the tape and taking it up back off. I even had like uh, almost a rash. So I took a break for a couple days from riding and just did some stuff with the family. But I still wanted to do more riding. But on this island, there's like thousands of cyclists. It's really incredible. I think I read something like 250,000 cyclists come there uh, for cycling holidays between like March and May. So there's just like tons. I even said to somebody like in our group that it reminded me of Zwift, but in real life. Because there's just like people all over the place. I was just ready for them to just like spawn, you know, out of nowhere in the <laughs> on the street. But um, yeah, it, it was a lot of cyclists and uh, I kind of had the feeling that like, I wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit original and a little bit, something a little bit less organized, not something so, so predictable. I mean, these rides were great. These rides were beautiful and it was awesome meeting with everybody. But I kind of wanted to go out on my own and like do an adventure ride, what I call it. And usually for me, what an adventure ride also means is going off-road or going somewhere where, you know, you're not expected to be. So I kind of found this area using uh, Google Maps and like the Strava route finder and it was um, and basically it was a cove and uh, I thought it looked really cool and it looked like to get there would be a gravel or maybe even trail or a hiking trail road. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try to go there. the night. So the night before I uh, set my Garmin up so I had like a route to at least get to the starting point. Um, so at Again, like 9 o'clock in the morning, I left off from our uh, studio apartment and uh, the ride was really nice there early in the morning. It was really beautiful. Once I got off the main road and started kind of going up the, up the hill a little bit, got super quiet. There were no more cyclists, no more cars, really nobody at all. It was really peaceful, really quiet. And it reminded me of like, uh, even though I love meeting up with people and riding with people and like discussing cycling, obviously, uh, ultimately I think I'm a solo rider. That was just... It's just so peaceful um, to be out by yourself, not having to worry about anybody, not having to think about anything, but just your riding. And uh, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but it's it's something I really enjoy. So uh, I, I kept going up and up and up and up, and I was following my my route on my uh, Strava, or uh, sorry, on my um, my bike computer. Eventually, I got to a gate, and I thought, oh, well, this can't be right. There's a gate here, but it looks like I should be able to go there on, according to my computer and according to what I saw in uh, Google Maps. It looks like I should be able to go there, but there was a gate, and it said, like, private or something. It was like a steel gate, and you didn't have the fence, so I really couldn't uh, try to pass that. So uh, I kind of used the bike computer, and I figured out another way around. I went ahead and went that other way around, and then to my disappointment, the same thing happened. Another gate that said private. So I spent a little bit of time on my phone, a little bit of time on my bike computer, and ultimately it seems like there's like no way to get to this entire uh, area of the island, which is kind of incredible to me. I mean, I'm sure there's some hiking paths where people go there because it's, it's a big area. Like, I'm sure people go there, but it almost seems like this whole area is like private. But anyway, whether it was or wasn't, I really didn't have time to mess with it anymore. Like, I, I couldn't, basically I couldn't figure out how to get in. So... Uh, there was another like lookout on another area that we had my family and I had been uh, the day before. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna go here and then try to hike up this this mountain, and then I'll have like a nice view. That'll be fun. So uh, I rode over to this village. I'm sorry, forgetting the name right now, but so I got down there. It's a really really beautiful area. That's probably the most beautiful beach that I had seen the entire time. Uh, anyway, I started up up the side of this mountain a little bit.
Come on, don't tell me this again. And once again, on the map, I couldn't find another way up this darn mountain. I guess if there's a way to get up there, it's not too bad. But it seems to me like there's no way to get up there, which is incredible. So I was like double defeated. I got defeated on my first adventure attempt, got defeated on my second. So anyway, I rode down to this little cafe and decided to just like uh, take a drink and enjoy the views and think about what was going on and like what I was going to do with the rest of the day. Am I just going to have to ride back home in, in shame basically and say, oh, I rode around but didn't do anything fun like I expected to. Uh, so anyway, so after, you know, a little bit of time sitting there drinking and eating, I didn't think of any better idea. So I decided, okay, I'm just going to go home. I'll go like some long route, some different route and uh, kind of at least see some different views. But um, as I was leaving this like cove, I could see on the other side from where I was at, like a, a road that kind of wrapped around the mountain. And I thought, huh, maybe that would be interesting at least to ride up there to like, get a, bit, a better view of the beach from up that, up that high. And uh, I, I did see like some houses up there and I thought, okay, there's almost no chance that I'll, I'll be able to go anywhere with this. It's just gonna be a dead end with these houses, but I'll go ahead and ride up there. So I started my way up and uh, pretty shortly after that, I ran into a guy and uh, some other people coming down from the mountain. And so I asked him like, what's up there? Can I keep going, do you think? And he said, uh, you can go up there, but you don't have the right bike for it basically. He's like, it's like hiking and stuff like that. And so I thought, okay, perfect. That's exactly what I wanna do. So. I kept going with the bike and it got pretty steep and the road got really rough, like it hadn't been paved in like 50 years or something, I mean it was just like a mess. And uh, I kept going up, kept going up, until I got what, where it seemed like about the height of this like pass. What I, what I learned is it seemed like this was a mountain pass, like there was two kind of mountains on the side and then uh, the road kind of went over. Well, it wasn't much of a road, it was more a trail, kind, kind of a road, kind of a trail. And uh, at the top I saw a family coming up from the other side of the pass, so I asked them, uh, does this lead down to the town, the next town, again I don't remember the name, but I've been there before too. And and the guy said, yeah, that's, that's where it goes, but it's a hiking trail and uh, you won't be able to ride your bike, um, you know. So I thought, okay, perfect. Now I know I'm on the right track. Like, I'm going to keep going this way. So I kept going and probably within like 10 minutes of talking to that guy, definitely I had to be carrying the bike. The, uh, what was, what at first was like a gravel trail ended up just being a total um, hiking trail back down. But it was cool because I could see the village that I wanted to go for. And uh, that was all I was looking for. I was really looking just to like go out, adventure, don't plan it too well and go over something that probably almost no road bikes are doing anyway. So. But um, it was cool and I got down to the village after a while and I was satisfied. I was like, okay, that's an adventure. I got three gates blocking me on another way. I rode around for like a couple hours. I went over a mountain pass with my bike. So I'll count that as an adventure. So I went ahead and just went home after that. So that was my adventure ride. It wasn't the biggest adventure ride I've ever done, that's for sure. But uh, it was a good one. It was a nice little ride. So basically the rest of the vacation, it was just like chilling out with the family and doing, going to the beach and doing some touristy stuff. But there was a little mountain, I don't know if I should call it a mountain or a hill, I guess it's a mountain, a small mountain, right behind our apartment studio that I had been wanting to go up to basically the whole time I was there. It was like kind of calling me, climb up here, climb up here, but I never had the time. Um, then finally it was the day before we were going to leave. And I wanted to hike it in the morning, but we ended up doing some other stuff. Finally, it was like 7.30 p.m. It was going to be getting dark soon. So I said, okay, this is my absolute last chance. Tomorrow morning, we're heading towards the airport. So I'm going to get up this mountain. 
Unfortunately, I had already packed away my bike, so I couldn't bring my uh, bike up there with me, although that would have been more fun. But I went ahead and hiked up the mountain. It was an easy hike, but it was a great hike. It was really, really a nice hike. Um, first of all, there was nobody there. I think I ran into two people the full time and uh, it was super quiet, super peaceful. And so, yeah, I made it up to the top, no problem. It wasn't like the most amazing alpine view you've ever seen, but it was really awesome just to like, it was a very beautiful view and I could see our apartment. I could see all the places that I had been over the past 11 days. And uh, it was just a great way to cap off the, the uh, vacation. Oh, and if you're wondering about the bike, the bike actually performed perfectly. I had no problems at all. You know that shifting issue? I never had that because actually I never had to shift into the smallest front ring. It was never that steep in Mallorca, so I was able to stay in the middle ring in the front and just use that and the big one the full time. So I had absolutely zero problems with the bike. Not that I wasn't afraid I would. I was kind of afraid that I would have problems, but I didn't have any issues. So. By the way, I want to say a big thank you to Katie and Ash for inviting me and well, all of us to come out there. Uh, I wouldn't have been out there if it wasn't for you guys, and it was a totally awesome experience. It's one of those things where I was kind of like, should I do this? Should I not do it? And ultimately, I said, why not? I have the vacation time still. Uh, why not? Let's do it. And, and it was totally worth it and totally cool. So thank you, Katie. Thank you, Ash, if you guys ever watch this for doing the invite and also the rest of the group too that I met up with. It was awesome meeting you guys. I hope we can meet again and do some riding another time in the future. So that's about it for my trip. Had an excellent time. Thank you, Mallorca. Everybody, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.